Welcome back my friends, I'm Daily Fix and we are going to be designing ourselves our very first a destroyer. Actually, is it? No, it's a battleship. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. So, we are starting to see more of these. Actually, quite funny that you have a large, medium, small on all of these. Are these new designs? I don't think all of these are, are like regular. Um, let's see, what does this do? I do like to get basic star, um, strike crafts because if your enemy is not having any uh, point defense, then it is funny. It truly is funny. By the looks of things, we are clearly having power issues because some threes are being used, even though we have fours. So th this might not be the best selection. Actually, I believe it used to be not the smalls, the mediums and the large on this one. Uh, but then again, it is now more defendable against smaller ships. Maybe the hangar should just go. And... Nah, let's go medium, large, maybe medium, no power, all freeze. Yeah, what we need is power. We desperately need power before this actually is a thing. Building them right now, I think, is... Yeah, of very, very little use. Also, we are losing volatile modes. We are about, if memory serves me correctly, are about to get a few planets under control. I should be making them. Let's take a look here. Colony ship, colony ship, destroyer, destroyer, and a upgrade. Which is fine, which is fine. For now, we are... Focusing a tiny bit more on economy, but also population. My population has been quite sad. We have a lot more pops than we are currently able to use. We just got all of the uh, population on the different planets to their um, good... Um, how do you say this? Um, planetary modification trait something like that stop with the trading things so what do we want to be focusing on now their superior equivalent uh, i'm thinking these guys might be the very first one um they declared war upon they are a subject oh okay are you at war then you are not at war who can we go to war with i'm actually feeling that we should go to war with these guys and uh, mainly because they have not been doing well with the wars against these fellas and well why not there's a lot of planets in here that we could occupy and there is an l gate and you have some archaeological sites not many planets here if if we take a look here that this is the only one and how many pops are on there four so yeah that's going to take them some time to develop uh, but then again we have plenty plenty of time remaining this forge world i'm actually considering just resettling these guys to where they are needed in order for us to grow the economy because a lot of the economy jobs are being unfulfilled especially in some of the planets that are newer so yeah we'll have to do something about that uh, but they're all in due time all in due time we're waiting for this fleet to be ready uh are we actually looking into power no not really but we're getting close to the uh, tomb world habitability plus 20 and the mineral purifi uh, purification hops which is very very nice also and um, perhaps I should have checked these like off camera is the uh, the cloning vats uh, if I can No, actually I have that one over here. Not all my planets apparently have cloning vats and I do like the growth speed like this one no cloning vat uh, I do like the growth speed of uh, of new population So we're going to make sure that all of our planets get those uh, this one doesn't even have a, um, damn, a spawning pool. Like, what the hell? 
What was I thinking? And some of these things are annoying, but I will have to check them out. Uh, maintenance depot, you know, yeah, you're funny, go away. Spawning pool, please. Uh, how many guesses are we making? We're making six. We can actually replace you with cloning vap. Uh, how about you? No cloning here at all. Oof, that was a bit of a jump there. You got it. You are making it. You, once again, are not having it. Let's replace you. Spawning pool. Cloning. Yeah, these are these, these, these tedious jobs that I actually... Actually, no, we probably have it here. That I should be do, doing, like, off camera for you guys. 28 maintenance depots. Uh, yay, why? Uh, because we already have a cloning vab. Why, why the hell not, then? Fine. So, most of these things already are being used. Now, we can boost the minerals here if we need it. Uh, I'll check the rest of these, like, off camera. Now, as you can see, Hive District, we, once again, we have a population here. And we'll have to send somewhere else. Same goes for you. Resettle you on there. And, and this will actually, this, this is so important right now. That we do everything in our power to stop doing those jobs. Look at this. 11, 19, 24, 18, 11. There's so many jobs here that, yeah, a lot of our economy is in empty, empty buildings. And they're like, yeah, not doing this. Um, are we going for a war? We are a hive mind. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what are you guys? You're overwhelmingly equivalent. So, yeah, you you really don't like me. What do we get? Tomb World Habitability, which is great. Uh, gym Modification Point. Mm. Terraforming Gases. I don't need to terraform anymore. Um, let's pause it for a second. Something is going on. Gene Modification Point. That could be nice. But do I want it right now? Leader enhancement. Selected lineage. Leader cost goes up. Leader lifespan plus 10 years. And the leveling cap. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. We, can, we could probably breed better politicians. Carefully reproducing planning should be... Uh, Intercidular testing waste... This seems like something a um, a hive mind should have, right? That it feels like it should have that. So we finally are getting. Did you go away, please? Um, we're finally getting some minor artifacts. So is there anything that we want to be doing with it? I still don't know what to do with this one. Um, hmm. I kind of want to save up for now. We might get an artifact that's, well, partially useful. Although, well, who's to say? Well, what is useful? What is useful? Also, I want a habitability of the, the habitats. Habitability, yeah. No, the habitats. And a focus research. Considering, yes, we are starting to gain with research, but still... Yeah, it, it's still a lot of things that we need to do. Who the hell are you and where are you located? On the other side of the bloody galaxy? Then why the hell should I care? Why the hell should I care about that? I think we should go to war. And this will make us uh, what, somewhat stronger. There's some nice, um, some nice systems there. Look, a lot of minerals, volatile modes and... Yeah, I think it is It is time that we do something about this guy. Uh, I'll use two of my three fleets. I'll save one just for defense. Defensive purpose. He, he can stall. <laughs> we may might be able to do so. Or we'll build another fleet. Yeah, they're all decisions that we should make, right? Uh, we're still boosting the economy immensely and uh, still making a good deal here of course 
<laughs> while I say that, while I say that, all my ships go into transit and they're no longer sitting at uh, any other place. So, let's see, one more over here. Eventually, what we will have is four planets. If I see that some of the populations just don't go on other planets, I'm not going to be putting them on there. So, Tomb World Habitability is now at 60. Uh, meaning we sh could probably terraform them. Not even terraform them, we could just uh, colonize them. I can't find the words today. It's, uh, it's still early in the morning. Um, <laughs> it's half past 7 in the morning. Uh, half past 6 actually. So, yeah, we're going to be waiting here until the fleets arrive. And who knows, maybe if, if nothing else exciting happens uh, in between episodes, then uh, I'll just allow my pops to grow. Perhaps, perhaps that is something that I want to do. Uh, a lot of these can now just do without population. Man, food processing. Okay, I guess. Stop guaranteeing? Guaranteeing whom? Something with a heart. Where are you? Here. So he's not being guaranteed anymore. So there's going to be a war. And these guys will go at it. Which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, shall we give some... Let's do 3k. On pause. And that should... Yeah, look at that. A lot of stuff happening right away. Let's not go below 5 also, how many of my strategic resources are doing nicely? Rare crystals are doing great. How long until we actually have to go with these guys again? They are in inferior. They're now inside of this damn it federation. Ah, oh, that's going that this war is going to be painful. Truly is going to be painful. We need to take these guys out at um, at the earliest possible way. And then defend against them. Now until we actually have better power. I'm thinking that we are going to be filling. The uh, planets with. What do I say. No, actually with the fleets. With more ships. Make them stronger. Make sure they don't attack us. It's rather important. They're all at 100% huh. Yeah, figures. Maybe this wasn't the, the greatest. I don't understand why they just don't show me, like, the population here. What kind of type it is. Are, are none others doing what I do? And that's just making sure they uh, are different? I don't know. Maybe if we can terraform these guys to like Gaia world, they would be 60% all over. And that would be actually quite nice. Uh, for now, we'll just have to deal with the fact that we most likely have to change all of the population being built. Uh, maybe the resettlement thing is not the best thing to do. Uh, then again, what is? What is? Water class, yeah, of course it is. Okay, so the first fleet has arrived. And I think we can actually push forward a long ass time. Uh, the economy is great, so it won't be long until they start boosting out more ships than I do. So, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if we actually had the destroyers of the uh, battleships. Hmm... Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about this. Uh, we can always change our ships, right? And we can upgrade them. And he is actually... Yeah, this is bull. Why are you so well in power? No, seriously. He's actually doing quite fine in power. Is it me? Probably. Yes. And now it's negative. Okay, because we have a crap ton of that. 
Hmm. Okay. So the shields are too strong at the point, at the moment. Plus two. And by far, we're still using the uh, the right amount of uh, of the rest. Actually, quite like this design. You are a line ship, of course you are. Although, what is the range? The range is ten of these things, but what is the range they can fly? Is this this is quite funny? I quite like these uh, fighter crafts. A lot of armor. There is some, let's see, one, two, three, four shields, one, two, three, four armor, some bypass and some hanging. I quite like this one. Mm, don't need the uh, artillery set on this one. So, why? Okay, we'll save as the type eater. So this way we can still add them to the fleets. And we will. Uh, what do we research here? The leader enhancements. What do we want? Is there power in here? Naval cap plus 30? You know, that is not bad at all. Or go with some of the cheap attack and clear those tile blockers out of the way. Volta mode is back. Exotic gases are at a... Well, negative. That's not good. For now, let's add those battleships. Hmm. Just three, huh? Wow. I was kind of hoping for a bit more. I want to get this up to 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's, that's how I usually do my fleets. Um, and we have more than enough. To reinforce all of our fleets. Now I don't like using the reinforcement button in the um, in the fleet manager. Because somehow my fleets usually get messed up. And I don't need that. So we're going to wait until all of those are ready. Mm. Yeah okay. So let's take the command limit. This will help up with the fleets. Um, there we go. Purification ops. Impulse Thruster Citadel. Uh, breath and Power is very nice. Still no other power designs though. Look at that. Uh, produces 16 energy. It's just gorgeous. This used to be the best thing ever. The Citadel. We haven't even started upgrading most of our bases yet, I believe. Well, some of them are. Let's take a look here. We, no, we can still upgrade you. So, there's no point in getting Citadel. Getting more energy is always good. Uh, we also got more Fleet Command Limit now. So, let us add two more. That's up to 60. We're still in our Naval Cap. Yeah, I quite like this so far. Let's get a Destroyer in more. There you go. That should uh, definitely help our, all of our fleets. So let's start with you. You're not at cap yet, which is highly unfortunate. We're above 245. Actually, no, we are 245. We're above 200. Food is going down slowly. Not sure I like that. So I should actually look at continental and then say, you know, we're going to be not putting you on an alpine world, but on a tropical world. That's how I actually should do this, but it's just too much time. Perhaps we shouldn't even be bothered by the growth of all of our population. New phase disruptors, and there we go, the zero point reactor. If there was anything we needed, we need it right now. So in 63 months, most of my ships could change because we get so much more power. And I wonder what it will do to my fleet. Uh, that's going to be gorgeous. I still need to upgrade all of these though. Oh man, I feel like we will never, never have enough fleet power or alloy production. Uh, so, since we still have so much to do, all of these would need to be upgraded. Yeah, negative two is bad. 
negative two is bad. And they're building like hive warrens. You know, if, if the AI is good at one thing, it's building like hive districts. Still not sure why, but then again, who am I to say anything about it? Are we able to change our species in a way that we could say we don't have this? I don't think so. I, I don't think we are there yet. Perhaps in the future we uh, were able to get something that would help a lot. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. None of these are important, so we we don't be bothered by it. Um, okay, why the crystals? Why? I don't understand this sometimes. You are lacking housing, and yet you find it way more interesting to make crystals. Is it because you just lack jobs? You have so much enmities. Oh god, guys, I don't think the planet is going to do what I want them to do. Like the AI. It's been a bit weird. So onward to the next colony. Let's get this going. This was the tile blocker. I'm actually considering doing the uh, the other tile blocker as well. Negative 25. We are starting to build up on the stockpile. But I'll have to find a good way to deal with all of these planets. Dangerous wildlife. It, it's 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 good, but look at this. 32 houses. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Seriously. And, and and this was patched, you know? This was once patched. Anyways, guys, I'm going to do some work off camera uh, on, the, um, on the planets and allow my fleets to grow. If anything is going to happen, we will be back for the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.